Hey, -o, what's going up, guys? Johnny here. We are about to go on an adventure. Uh, it is roughly 4.30. We just came out of the Jacobite train station. If you guys haven't seen that video, it's a video before this one. So I would highly go ahead and check that out because it's the original and OG version of the Hogwarts Express. It is, I mean, you're going to have to see. I'm not going to do any more spoilers. But guys, that is the Hogwarts Express. We literally went to Hogwarts in it. Um, not exactly, but... You guys have to see the video. It is amazing. It is a once in a lifetime opportunity and I'm so happy to say that we went ahead and checked that off our bucket list. Well, my bucket list at least. But today, we're gonna go ahead and do something even more cool. If that even can be done. We're gonna go into the actual location, you know. We went over the Glenfinnan Viaduct Bridge yesterday. Well, actually the video before this one. So this time around, we're going under it. We're going to go actually walking to it and explore all of that and see all of those really cool things. Take some really cool pictures. So if you guys haven't followed me already, definitely go ahead and do so on Instagram. It is The Collecting Wizard, just like my channel name. They shot the exterior shots for Hogwarts Castle, uh, School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. And um, the tournaments, the Triwizard Tournament, the one that was actually in the water where Victor Crumb turned into a shark. Yeah, that one that was filmed in this lake so we're gonna go ahead and do another harry potter locations video so stay tuned so i guess without further ado start the intro and let's go ahead and start driving because it's uh about a, what an hour 25 minutes 25 minutes thought it was gonna be an hour okay so we're not that far off okay that's not that bad so without further ado let's go ahead and start this video so start the intro and let's start driving you're a wizard Yo, what is going up guys? I am Johnny the Collecting Wizard and as you can see, I am here in the Viaduct Bridge. You guys can go ahead and find it. It is called Glenfinnan Viaduct Bridge. It is about 25 minutes away from Fort Williams where the Jacobite train comes out of. So go ahead and check it out. Google it if you guys must. But as you can see, this is the famous bridge that young Harry and Ron and Hermione were on on the first movie uh, through the Jacobite train or the Hogwarts Express. Also, the Fort Anglia flew right over it and actually through one of these arches. Ah, <sighs> what a beauty. But now I'm gonna walk you all the way from the beginning and on the way over here and show you guys the walk just to get up here. And there's actually a lot more better views, which I'm gonna show you guys in this video. So without further ado, let's go. And that's where you park right there. You do this little trail pass through this bridge and I'll show you guys where the trail actually leads so once you pass the bridge in the beginning all you got to do is just walk right through here and you'll find the, the trail right over there this is just a journey to where we're you know taking pictures and all of that but as you can see it has 21 arches it was built in 1980 sorry 1898 almost got the date wrong and it is said to be the largest concrete engineering project till this day in great britain we're going to try our best to get all the angles of this viaduct bridge but as of right now these shoes were made for walking that's just what they do new boot goofing no wait what i'm just goofing new boot goofing oh so here we have a little informational board here of the Glenfinnan station and viaduct trail this one being the viaduct bridge right here you have little hogwarts right there <laughs> um let's see let's see oh it was opened for operation in 1901 but it was finally completed in 1899 right here 1898 uh, that's what i read as a point of reference my intro was done right around over here and now we are going up this hill all the way up here how do i okay go this route oh my god i'm gonna bust my behind okay i got here i told you to told you we should go up here oh my god look at this view all right now we are making our way back down but we're gonna go to the opposite side the one the side where everyone takes pictures of the train passing by i'm still shooketh of oh almost fell of all of this i want to touch it 
I'm gonna go touch it. He's gotta touch the boat. This is where the Fort Anglia passed under the. Oh, I touched it. So whoever finds this arch right here, the one with um, I want to say what is this? This looks like a, I don't even know. Whoever finds this arch, right here, tag me. If you find it, tag me, and I'll repost it. This one is, let me see, one, two, three. This is the fourth arch. Whoever finds it, tag me, and I will love to go ahead and repost it. Whew, there's about 21 arches of uh, right here made out of pure concrete oh my goodness blown away so to get to the highest point so you're able to see the train pass by there is a door right there you just keep following the trail past the, the door and you will start seeing these bricks all around rocks whatever you want to call it and you're gonna make your way all the way up and you will meet your destination. Let's see what we could see. Look, look how beautiful today is. Oh my God. We have been blessed this whole trip with amazing weather. Just to show you where the photographers are placed. You can see the guy right there. He's a good example as to where the photographers take place. This is the long journey. It's not that long actually. It's, I would say not even five minutes of a walk. But I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys this little trail here. It's not that far of a walk from the, the visitor section and we are here at the top of the cliff this is where all the photographers take their one iconic shot and i do mean one iconic shot and they only have one shot to take this picture because the jacobite train leaves at 10 15 from fort, fort williams and it travels all the way down and right here this is their only shot their only shot and then once it leaves it doesn't it comes back once and but it comes back you know you don't get this one shot until the following day when it leaves again at 10 15. but guys this is gonna be the end i wanted to end off with this amazing view so if you guys are new here hit that subscribe button down below because i talk about everything harry potter and theme park related content on a daily basis i'm in europe right now i'm doing all these amazing harry potter location videos so if you guys love this content hit that subscribe button down below and if you like this video hit that like button down below because it really helps me out a lot it really really does so guys without further ado i love you guys and i'll see you guys on the next one